Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve another problem in Chandency, which we are told to reproduce this figure. Now, like I said, when you see a figure like this, the first thing you first of all draw is the length given, right? So let us draw a line that is 100 millimeter apart. So I'm going to take my metal rule and draw a line of 100 millimeter apart. So I'll take my T square, right? You place it on your drawing board and um, you draw your straight line, horizontal line this way, pink line. Now you take from 0 to 10, you will see this point is where my 100 stops. So I'll move from 0, right, from this point to 10 is 100 millimeter. Is that the case? Now, if you look at the diagram very well, from here to is 100, right? Then, to the height, we're talking about this horizontal line, right? So for me to get to an height, I'm going to travel to on this line here, this point here, which is this point here, right? If you look at this point here, it is here. So, I'm going to draw a vertical line from there. So in doing that, I'll have this this way. And I'll draw a vertical line this way. So it will come something like this. You can see that. So this is this vertical line and this horizontal line. Now, if you notice this, this is like uh, fillet that the kid. So what I'll do is from this point here we say the radius from this point here right you are going to measure twenty five to the to the left and twenty five up like a fillet. So this is what you do here the radius of twenty five so you use your compass on your meter rule you're going to measure a radius of what? 25. A radius of 25. Right? So, at this point, this is 25 here, right? And I'll place it at this point. I'll mark the horizontal and I'll mark the vertical. Right? So, from that point that I mark, I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to strike an arc from this point I'll strike an arc this way and I'll place it here also I'll strike another arc so here they meet this way I'm going to draw my circle this way, point nine. You can see that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that after doing that, right, I am told that from the center of this, which is the center of this, up is what seventy. So I'm going to trace the center to this point here. I'll trace the center to this point. You can see that. So if I trace it to that point, I'll discover that it is on this point here. Here. You can see that. So both of them are on that point there. From the center to this point here. Right? So I'll do is if you trace it, look at the point. Let me zoom it so you can see what I'm trying to talk about. If you trace it, you discover that from this center here to this point here, right? 
I'm going to measure 70 to the other center. So I'm going to measure 70 to the other center. So that means this point here, you're seeing this center here is this center here. Right? This point here is this point here. So and from that point here to this point here is what 70. I'm going to measure 70 from here. So measure 70 from here. So this is my 70 at this point here. Right? So that is the 70 at that point there. So to in doing that, in doing that, let me extend this to this point here. So in doing that, I'm having another circle at that point. But the rest of that circle is what is 40, right? So I'm going to place my compass here with us 40 and draw my bigger circle. So let's do that and see. Let me take it down. So on a meter rule, you measure a radius of 40. From here to here is 40. You can see that. And you place it here and you draw your bigger circle. So let me just bring this down. So I'm going to assess my bigger circle. So from here, I place it here and I draw a circle with a faint line. That's my bigger circle. You can see that. That's my what? My bigger circle. Now what do you notice? This is, if you look at this diagram very well, this is like a circle here, which is what we've done here, and this is another bigger circle that gives what we've done here. But now there's a tangent line touching the circumference of these two circles. So I'll take my rule, right, and I'm going to draw the tangent line touching the two of them from here to this point. You can see that? Make sure that it is well placed. Then I'm going to draw a thick line. You can see that? Right? So, from that point, now if you notice again, on this, there's another circle here. This is another circle here. Right? And the radius of that circle is what? It's 30. Is that again? So, what I'll do is, for me to get the end of the circle, it means that from this point here, where I started measuring my 70 from, which is this point here, right? Let me just show you so you see what I'm actually trying to see. Where I started measuring my 70 from, because this is the center, which is the center of the circle. Let me just do the center of that circle. Long, one shot, long shot, long shot, long shot, long. Let's do it here so you get to understand what I'm actually trying to say. We have a long shot, long shot, right? So at this point here, right, I'll measure 10 upward, which is this point here, because the same center. I'm going to measure 10 upward, right? So from the 10 upward, that's where I'll get the center of this circle. So let's do that and see, because this circle here. This circle here, we know that from here to this point here is what? Is 100, right? And this from here to here is 100. So let me draw my vertical line here first of all. So I'll draw my vertical line here first, first of all. So this is what we have here. Paint line. So I'm going to measure the 10 upward so that I'll get the center. Where the line I measure 10 upward intersect with this vertical line that will be the center of what the center of this circle here right so let's see how it goes so I measure 10 from here starting from 2 from 2 to 1 is 10 right and I'm going to draw it like a faint line from this point straight down to this point here and that again 
and it's going to enter that is going to here those front line the way it meets here is a new center for my circle here so I'll use just of what 30 right and I'm going to place it on my meter room and I'll measure 30 from here So I'll place it here. You can see that. So I'm going to do that. And I'll draw my circle. Paint line. You can see that. That is my circle. Which is this circle that is here. Which is this circle that is here. Now what do you notice? This circle and this circle. Which is this circle and this circle i'm going to draw the tangent of both of them right so let's draw the tangent of these two circles and see how it goes so take my meter rule ensure that it is tangential to this here mm -hmm. from this point to this point Ensure that I get it very well, and I'll draw this to this point. You can see that. So it's tangential, just like what I have here. It's tangential. You are going to just like these two places. That again. You are going to draw your circle. You touch tangential to the other one. So you draw it. It can be like this. Should be touching sharp from this point straight down to this point. You can see that. So now it's just three different pulley. So you're going to take in the line. So you just get it from this point to this point here, right? You get it to this point. Right, then you come here also use the same thing to this point. That again, so you get it. Right, and you do for the other one here too, which is this. Make sure that you get them to that. That again. So. You just do the needful by putting your center lines here at this point. Get it long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. You can just do that like that to so just come down. Then you can just do for these two to show the center and from here I have um a long one short one okay. right I do for the same thing here too Now, oh. after doing that, I can do my dimensioning. You know that from this point to this point here, 
is 100, right? So I'll just do that. So I'll do from here to here. This is uh, the first dimension in here. And the next one is the radius of here, which you say it is 40. Two. So, this is what we have. Now, and there's one other last one, which is the top here. You say the radius of that one is. This is 30 here, sorry. This is 30. And the other one here is 40. So from here to here is reduced what? Reduced 40. Oh good. So this is what we have in our diagram here. Right? So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching